Hey everybody, it's Adam at BoardBrain. I'm incredibly relieved to finally announce that our next generation ADAT module, Optics V2, is complete and is on its way into production. As of today, you can pre-order the module and the first batch will begin shipping very soon in mid-October. It took almost two years of relatively painstaking development to get here, with many not quite good enough prototypes, but in the end, after a complete redesign of the original optics module, I believe we've achieved the best possible performance in 10 HP. Let me tell you about the module. Just like the original optics, Optics V2 converts analog signals to and from eight channel digital ADAT signals to be transferred over optical cables. So if your interface has one or more ADAT ports, you can essentially add extra channels between your DAW and your Eurex system. Since it's fully DC coupled, the new module can carry both audio and CV signals in either direction, which is incredibly fun and powerful when used with software like Bitwig, Ableton Live, and VCV Rack. Optics V2 is also a great companion for Push 3, expanding its IO into your Eurorack system for sequencing, modulation, audio processing, and effects routing. There's so much you can do with this combination and I'm still experimenting myself. With version two, we focused heavily on the quality of the digital conversion. And so the module has been designed with high performance input op amps and professional grade converters from Cirrus Logic. This combo provides incredibly low noise and excellent detail. You may have noticed on the front of the module, there are four switches. These allow you to select the signal input mode for each pair, which will optimize the inputs for either audio or CV signals. In audio mode, the inputs are AC coupled using the onboard high pass filters, which guarantees no DC offset and the best possible signal to noise ratio. In CV mode, the inputs are DC coupled, so the CV signals can be accurately and precisely converted as well. This mode has a unique self-calibration feature that effectively results in a near zero DC offset by detecting and then correcting any offset. It's worth noting too that both the inputs and outputs have extremely precise level scaling, so signals will translate accurately between the analog and digital domains. Also on the front of the module, just like in version one, you'll find a pair of white LEDs corresponding to each output. These are meant to give you a visual indication of the output signal strength and its polarity. Optics V2's ability to produce solid sample clock on board allows for a one-way connection to interfaces with only an ADAT input. It also means you can sync one optics to another, interconnecting your Eurorack systems without a computer at all. The dip switches on the back of the module allow you to select either internal or external sync and the sample rate of the onboard clock, either 44.1 or 48 kilohertz. When set to external sync, the blue LED We'll let you know when it's locked to a valid clock from the ADAT input. With a jumper also on the back of the module, you can choose whether to power the module's five volt circuitry with your case's power supply, or simply let optics make it from your positive 12 volt supply. So with that, I wanna thank everyone for their patience over these many months. With Optics V2, we really challenged ourselves to deliver a product that performs at and above the community's expectations and I think we've achieved that. More detailed information and product specs can also be found on the BoardBrain website, where you can place a pre-order or of course from your favorite retailer. Again, units will begin shipping in mid-October. We'll be at KnobCon again this year with the brand new Optics V2. So come check it out if you also plan to attend. See ya.